lakhs of students dream about getting into a top engineering college and you are one of them you must have worked hard burning the midnight oil solving papers pushing yourself you imagine scoring well getting into a top college with ease got scholarships no problem but things did not go as planned did they it's okay you still have an option that is management seats no top rank needed just a few lakhs of donation and you get the seat if your parents are wealthy the path is clear if not don't worry banks are always ready to help with education loans but here's the catch for big loans most banks ask for collateral your house land or gold your family takes the risk you might still be able to earn that dream car home and a better life if you secure that dream job now here's the real question will you get a job which will pay you enough to repay that educational loan or will you be stuck in an endless cycle of emis for years with no way out in this video we'll uncover the real cost of engineering education why many students fall into a debt trap and how you can avoid it now let's assume you got into a top engineering college through the management quota you've paid a higher price on fees significantly more than anybody else in the class so what do you get for that the same classroom the same old bench the same professor the same record notebooks to learn coding on just like the students who got in through merit no special professors for you from foreign universities no shortcut to better placements not even a better chair to sit on you didn't buy a premium experience you just bought stress in full emi okay now you have accepted that marks are the real deal so you take charge you work hard take notes solve maths problems clear doubts even though your college didn't offer anything special you try to make the best of it but in the end these lectures these exams they don't prepare you for the placement race and that's why 83% of engineering students graduate without a job offer it hurts but at least your family did not pay for this from their savings the bank did isn't it and the silver lining you don't have to repay it yet most banks offer a grace period of 6 months to 1 year after you are graduated to start repayment but the clock is ticking 4 years later the real villain finally arrives it's not your marks it's your emi every year lakhs of students take education loans last year the total amount disbursed crossed thousands of crores here's the alarming part in just 2 years unpaid education loans grew from 83000 crores to rupees 1.2 lakh crore that's not just a number that's the story of lakhs of graduates struggling to repay stuck in the debt trap and god forbid this could be your story too but there is a way to save yourself and your family from this debt trap yes but you need to first understand how management seats actually work Booking a management seat is like buying a bus or a plane ticket during festival season. If you book early, plenty of seats are available, you pay the regular price. But wait for too long, as the rush builds, the price shoots up. Fewer seats, higher demand, higher price in the same bus. It's exactly the same with management quota in top engineering colleges. But here's what most students do not realize. They wait for their results, then they check last year's cutoffs, and only then they realize that they can't get their dream course or college through counseling. By that time, some students had already booked their management seats and paid far less but you you delayed and so you pay more in fact in most top colleges admissions to the management seats begin 6 to 12 months before the board exam only a few students know this those who do book their seats much in advance with a small token and save lakhs so if you are entering 12th standard just now this is your golden opportunity window which won't stay open for too long next year you will face intense competition in fact even more lakhs of students will appear for board exams jee and other entrance tests all fighting for the same limited number of top seats and let's be honest you can't predict the question papers you can't predict your board marks and you definitely can't predict your entrance exam rank but here's one thing you can control reserve your seat early before the rush begins do it now and secure your admission at a top college at lower fees and save your family from a debt trap already completed your 12th you gave it your all but maybe the rank didn't come maybe the seat slipped away it's painful but your journey doesn't have to end here because you might still have a chance a chance to build a future that you've always dreamed of without paying a massive capitation or donation fees but this chance won't wait seats are limited the window is closing fast if you still believe you deserve better this is your moment rush now and grab your seat before it's gone